what are the easiest ways someone could have to leave addiction, most especially addiction to drug abuse, inshallah. Salaam alaikum wa rahmatullah, jazakumullah khair. Firstly, you know, it, it is a crisis and we, de- we do need to face the reality and look at the root causes of this type of uh, pandemic. At the same time, uh, as a man of faith, I can only guide you to tell you that we need to get closer to the Almighty. We need to develop our relationship with God Almighty and we need to make sure that we increase our acts of worship, acts of productivity. A lot of the young, uh, you know, they're, they're not utilizing their abilities in a productive way. Hence, it is being utilized in a destructive way. So we will have to deal with it twofold. Number one is the spiritual aspect of it, which is uh, faith based. And we will have to develop these young boys and girls, and even there are some who are old who are involved in this. Uh, We will have to develop their consciousness of their maker, the relationship with their maker, participation in the masjid, in places of worship, in uh, reaching out to community and so on, on one hand. And on the other hand, we need to actually look at perhaps, uh, you know, employment for these young people, productivity for these young people, Uh, look at the problems they are facing, solutions. A lot of the times they have issues within the families, deficit of one parent, perhaps some form of uh, disgruntlement, something that they are sad about that leads them to this. So uh, not not always, but in a lot of cases. For that to be resolved, we need to engage them uh, in something productive, really. That would be a a challenge for community at large, for government at large, uh, to be able to reach out to these people who are suffering uh, to help them come out of this. You know, one is to just say, right, we are stopping this, we are banning this, etc. They will go on to something else. And you stop the other thing, they go on to a third thing and it continues. But rather when we get to the roots of it and try and resolve it, uh, create employment, create, uh, you know, uh, opportunities for education, etc. Inshallah, it is hoped that at least we would contribute towards the solution although we may not be able to solve it totally because there are people who are employed and they do have jobs and they are highly educated and they still have the same addictions. So there are many reasons why this happens. Also to enforce or to try our best to educate uh, regarding the family unit, its value, its worth and what it's supposed to be, uh, that would help us also in a very big way. Maybe just in uh, two sentences, for someone who who has heard you and he knows this drug is bad, what is the easiest way for the person to go out of this addiction? You know, if it was as easy as two sentences, the problem would have been solved. <laughs> but in actual fact, it is a very, very tedious process. I think we, what we can do realistically is educate those who are not into that to prevent it. So to prevent it from spreading is the first step. Then to deal with those who are in it already. Because, uh, you know, something that you are talking about how to resolve when you haven't talked about how to stop its spread is actually uh, not leadership. You have to stop the spread and then you've got to contain it. Like when there is a disease that has an outbreak of a disease, they have to contain it, then they deal with it. So this particular thing also, we have to contain it, then we deal with it. So inshallah, we, like I said, we have to educate, we have to keep on developing our relationship with Allah. And in the case of Muslims, you know, regular, regularly fulfilling your five prayers, starting your dhikr. A remembrance of Allah is a very powerful tool, very good way of coming out of bad habits. When you increase your good, the bad decreases. Automatically, it is a seesaw sort of a relationship. So when the good becomes more, the bad becomes less. So I would encourage all my brothers and sisters who are struggling with this to increase the good that they are involved in and Allah will help. Thank you very much, Sheikh.